most welcome to Reality Easy. My dear little friend, this is Mo. Today I am going to talk about ocean currents. Friend, photographers of the hours from space suggest that ocean would be a more suitable name for our planet because ocean covers three fourths of the Earth's surface. The ocean is a vast open expanse of seawater. Continents? Continents may be considered a large island rising from the vast ocean which is a single and continuous expanse of interconnected bodies of water. It is believed that the ocean formed when the water vapor held in the atmosphere of prehistoric earth condensed and fell as rain, filling off the vast hollows of the earth's surface. Although the oceans are one continuous body of water, geographers have given it different names. They are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. The waters around the Antarctica are sometimes described as an ocean. My dear little friend, before we begin, if you get any value from this video, consider liking it and please subscribe to the channel and friend those who are studying from class 1 to 12 except commerce send us your question or your doubts of any topic any subject we will try our best to discuss those in our upcoming videos now ocean currents let's get started streams of water move along the surface of the ocean in definite paths such more or less permanent streams of water which flows in a definite direction are known as ocean currents in short the regular movements of water from one part of the ocean to another is called ocean currents ocean currents are like rivers in the ocean thousands of kilometers in length and sometimes about 200 km wide. Ocean currents can be cold and warm. Currents that originate near the equator and flow towards the poles are warm currents. Those that originate in the high latitude and flow towards the equator are Cold currents. Ocean currents are powered by the wind steam of the world. The causes of currents that are not powered by the winds are related to the density of ocean waters, which are due to variations in temperature and salinity. The wind steam of the world force the surface water of the ocean to move in a particular direction. The direction is clockwise in the northern hemisphere and it is anti-clockwise in the southern hemisphere. This is due to the Coriolis effect caused due to the rotation of the Earth. The temperatures are higher at the equator than at the pole. Hence, water in the ocean near the equatorial region is heated more than that near the poles. So this unequal heating sets up convectional currents in the ocean. Warm water of the equatorial region are light and move along the surface towards the polar region where they are cooled. The cold water is dense and heavy. It sinks downwards from the surface and moves slowly towards the equator where on warming up it may rise to the surface again. My dear little friend, I wanted to say something about water movements in the ocean. There are two types of movement, horizontal, that is ocean current, vertical, that is the rising of bottom water and sinking of surface water. These movements result from the combined action of density particularly important in vertical movement winds particularly important in horizontal movement each ocean 
has its own system of ocean currents the ocean currents of the atlantic ocean and the pacific ocean shows a common pattern ocean currents originate in the equatorial region as the warm equatorial current and flow westward when they encounter continents they divide into two branches one is deflected northward and the other southward these warm currents moves along the east coast in both the hemisphere warm currents hug the east coast in the low and middle latitude as these currents reach the higher latitude they move across the ocean and turn towards the equator washing the western margin of continent by this time the warm current loses much of its warmth and flows along the east coast as a cold current friends finally the current warms up as it reaches the equator and becomes part of the equatorial current the currents of the indian ocean differ from those of the atlantic and the pacific ocean this is mainly because of the enclosed nature of the sea and the influence of the monsoon winds in the northern part of the indian ocean the direction of the current changes according to the season in summer when the southwest monsoon blow the current flows in the western direction as the southwest monsoon drift in winter when the northeast monsoon wind blow the current flows in the eastern direction as the northeast monsoon drift in the southern part of the indian ocean the currents are similar to those in the southern part of the atlantic and pacific ocean some important ocean currents the gulf stream This current originates in the Gulf of Mexico in the Atlantic Ocean. It is a swift flowing warm current. It flows northward along the east coast of North America until it meets the cold Labrador current near Newfoundland. The warm Gulf Stream is forced to move by the westerlies. As it moves across the ocean the current is known as the north atlantic drift the labrador current this current flows southwards from the atlantic ocean along the coast of canada this is a cold current as it originates in the arctic ocean it makes the region along which it flows very cold and keeps the coast ice bounded in winter the kuroseo current or the japan current this is the warm current in the pacific ocean that washes the coast of eastern japan it is similar to the gulf stream of the atlantic ocean the kuroseo current makes the winters of eastern japan milder and keep the coast free from ice as it moves north it meets the cold wayshio current The Kuroseo current moves across the Pacific Ocean following the direction of the westerlies as the warm north Pacific drift like the northern Atlantic drift of the Atlantic Ocean. It has a warming effect on the coast of Alaska and western Canada. The Kuril current or the Wayshio current This is a cold current which originates in the Arctic Ocean and flows along the coast of Japan. It is similar to the Labrador current of the Atlantic Ocean. The Wayshio current or Kuril current makes Japan and the coast of the Asian mainland severely cold in winter. My dear little friend stay with me bye bye